Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Oracle Database. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn one of the interesting concepts which is commonly used across different databases, which includes Oracle as well. And that concept is nothing but materialized view. What is this materialized view? And how it is different than the normal view which we normally create on Oracle table? Those are the things we are going to see. Apart from that, we will have the demo about creating the materialized view. So let's start today's tutorial. So what is materialized view? If you remember the concept of the view, view is nothing but it's a kind of window through which we can access the column and its corresponding values which are based on the a given table. So we can create a view on a table and retrieve the information. It's called as a normal view. So then what is the materialized view? The materialized view is a database object. So that means as like a table, the materialized view itself is a table. So what are the information present in the existing table? We actually create another table on based on that given table and we store as an object. So materialized view is a database object. So you can see it's a structure and all that. That best database object contains the result of a query which we run on table. For example, employee is a table and on that ta employee table, if you create materialized view like employee underscore materialized view, then materialized view will be another table present in the same database or outside the database or in other database. So the materialized views are physical things or they are actually a database object where the, the result will be stored. The result which we run the query on the table. Suppose if you run select star from select, uh, select star from employee table, what are the result of that will be maintained in the another table which we create as a materialized view. So materialized views is a physical table or it's, it's a, a database object. The normal view which we create on the table, it's not stored on disk. So that means the information which we get in the view, it is just a select query and it is just uh, kept in the memory and not in the disk. So this is the basic under basic concept. Materialized views, uh, it's a nothing but it is kind of view which fetches the result from the given table and store uh, as in the form of another table. If you got the concept of the materialized view, so let's see what is the difference between materialized view and the view. The result of a view query are not stored anywhere on the disk. They are always stored, means they are, they consume the, re, um, the access, rapid access memory or the temporary memory we can say. And the view is created every time the query is executed. So whenever that query is executed, which is based on the table, that time the view is recreated. However, materialized view is created only once and they are actual structures stored within a database as a database object. And the, what are the information we pull from the table and create the materialized view, that information is physically stored in the database. Hence, it is written to the disk. What is the use of materialized view? As we have the view, then why we need the materialized view? The very, very important thing about materialized view is they are very strong in performance compared to view. A view uses a query to pull data from the underlying table. So we might be using one or more table and join those to create a view. So that means whenever we say join, so there may, might be the huge volume of data which we might be working on or pulling as a part of view. So the performance of that query will be low because of the joins and the indexes which you normally use in database concept. However, in case of materialized view, which is our table stored on the disk that contains the result set 
of a query. So when we want to pull the information, we are going to run the query on materialized view and not on the actual base object where the indexes are present or where the multiple joins are present. Material views are primarily used to increase the application performance when it, when it isn't feasible or desirable to use the standard view where the indexes are applied. So if our view definition involves the multiple tables and has the more indexes, using such view become tedious or the performance of such view is not good. In such cases, using the materialized view will be a good idea because those are stored on the disk physically. They don't have the indexes. Of course, we can create the indexes on materialized view if required. Another thing to remember here, uh, the, as we are saying the materialized views executed once, that means if you have the schedule refresh, that time only materialized views are executed. However, the views, normal or general views, whenever we access the views, every time they get refreshed or they get uh, executed. Suppose the frequency of materialized view is refresh, uh, material view refresh is one day. So the materialized view executed once in a day. Doesn't matter how many times you access the materialized view. But that is not the true case of the view. The view, the case with the view, whenever we access the view, the it is recreated again and again. Hence, the performance is a better with a materialized view. Of course, it comes with the caveat that the views are uh, maintains the current information or the latest information which is present in underlying table. However, materialized view do not contain the the current state of the data in the underlying table rather it contains the the state of record at the time of refresh so if you are doing refresh every daily then you have the latest state what will present on the day basis if you are doing hourly then you will have the refresh state based on the hourly but sometimes we can configure the materialized view to refresh as soon as the commit happens so that is also true or that can be also configurable. We will see how to do that. But the point here is materialized views are better than the views for performance aspect. We have to use this materialized views based on the need basis. It is not always right to choose the materialized view or normal views. Sometimes normal views also fits uh, your business need with the precise uh, performance. Then it's, it's okay to use that. The materialized views, are, of course, we, they are using the, uh, the database uh, disk space. So we have to consider while uh, designing the database uh, disk sizes, etc. So those are the things will come into the picture. Okay, so we, we got the what is materialized view. We got the what is view. Then what is snapshot in context of materialized view. Assume there are two databases, database one and database two. If database 2 has a table which is a underlying uh, table and on that underlying table if you're going to create a materialized view for example EMP underscore MV MV stand for materialized view such a materialized view is called as a snapshot snapshot is nothing but the copy of table which is present outside the database or the second case is if the table is present in the database one and the materialized view is also present in the same database it is called as a normal materialized view or nothing special but the snapshot is nothing but if the date table underlying table of materialized views is present in other database than the current one then it is called as a snapshot i hope you got the difference between the materialized view and snapshot Let's have a look on the materialized view features. When we create a materialized view, we use the table and underlying on that table, we create a, like where clause. So in where, uh, also along with the where clause, that is kind of filtration we can do. We also use the from clause to create the materialized view. 
so what can we use in the from class we can use tables we can use views so we can create materialized view of a views also apart from that we can also use the other materialized views to create a new materialized view so those are the things we can use in normally in data warehouse terms or in normal term materialized views are also known as master tables they sometimes also called details tables in data warehouse it is used to maintain the copies of remote data as i said the snapshot is one of the case where we can create a copy of a remote table or the table which is present outside your schema or outside database that local copy is nothing but a snapshot and it is normally used for the replication these local copies or the snapshot can be updatable with the advanced replication feature so yes we can update those uh, the snapshot or the table which we create as a materialized view but normally by default they are read only in the replication environment the materialized views commonly created are primary key row id object and the sub query materialized views so those are the few of the things we should remember about materialized views now how can we create the materialized views it's very simple we have to use a syntax called create materialized view then give the name of the materialized view here in this case emp underscore mv then there are some um, concept called build immediate refresh fast on commit so build immediate it will build the the view immediately as soon as we execute this uh, query and refresh fast on commit it nothing but it, this particular view is going to refresh immediately as soon as commit happen in your transaction if you want to do the refresh every day you can configure that as well then we have to use the select query because based on that select query the table or the materialized will be populated so you can you can have the sub query very complex or with the multiple tables or multiple views that should be fine so let's have a demo um on how to create materialized view so what are the things required uh, before actually creating the materialized view first of all you need to have the proper access so for example currently I'm using the username or the schema called as a CMX ORS so for that user we need to grant the specific privileges the privileges we need, which we need to grant is grant create materialized view to and this is the username CMX ORS if you have any particular user which by using which we are going to create materialized views that mat that user need to have the create privilege or create grant create grant on materialized view so syntax is very simple grant create materialized view to cmx ORS and this has to be done by the administrator so whatever your dba or uh, is there you have to contact uh, the dba person and ask them to get the grant to create materialized view once you have the grant to create materialized view the next thing is we have to create a materialized view logs this is very important without log you're not able to create the materialized view if you try to create materialized view without log creation you will get the error message which I will show you shortly the error message uh, will look like this some table name on which you are going to create a, a, a material view it says does not have materialized view log so this error message will be thrown uh, also if you don't have the enough privileges to create materialized view then you will get this insufficient privilege message so make sure you have the proper access grant and also uh, created the materialized view log how to create materialized view log just execute this statement create materialized view log on give the table name so as in that there is a table called c underscore b underscore cast on that if you are going to create materialized view create the materialized view log on that table define the pack free uh, parameters table space where this uh, log will be created what is the initial storage size how to increase so increase by 5k those are the byte values so you can put the what are the value are required in your environment so i'm going to select it and execute it as soon as you execute you will get the message materialized view log created 
so logs is ready now you can go ahead and create the materialized view how to create create uh, its assessment is very simple create materialized view give the name of materialized view build immediate refresh fast on commit you can specify different parameter as per your need and then you can specify the query select and some column name from this table and we are going to create one, one materialized view as soon as you execute it says materialized view is created now how can we check in your SQL developer it's very simple you can you have the section called as the materialized view just do the refresh here you'll see the materialized view is created you can select it and it is going to load it shortly you can run the select query on that table also so this view has column roid object party name party type and SSN which we just picked from our underlying table so those definition will be created and it will have some data too so if the data is present in the customer table that will be copied here also in this materialized view and it is physical table now we said we, we need to create materialized view logs also that also present here in the materialized view log you can just refresh and you can see those logs also now in case if you want to drop uh, uh, these materialized views and material log so there's simple statement for dropping use the drop materialized view uh, and then give the name of materialized view it's a drop now you can see the message and also similarly drop the logs also and you can drop the log you have to just refresh in the SQL developer so the changes will be immediately reflected so those are the details about the um, how to create a materialized view and we also saw the how it works in a school developer then what are the database in which the materialized view is supported of course the oracle we saw it is supported but apart from oracle the db2 cybase and microsoft sql servers server also comes with the uh, uh, materialized views but they have the different terms in db2 they say the materialized query table while in the microsoft sql server they call index view there are some couple of um, databases such as MySQL and PostgreSQL. They do not inbuilt support the materialized views. But of course, we can create the materialized views by creating a physical table and defining some trigger uh, to populate those table after certain frequency. So those are the database support for the materialized views. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you to understand what is materialized view and how to create those. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or queries, do not forget to mention in the comment section. Also, please check out my website for more interesting updates about the Oracle. Thank you again. Have a nice time.